Welcome to the World Brief. The content of the briefing includes Prominent Black Church in New York sued for gender bias by woman who sought to be its senior pastor. Prominent Black Church in New York sued for gender bias by woman who sought to be its senior pastor. Associated Press. Ebony Marshall Terman, a professor at Yale Divinity School, has filed a lawsuit against the Abyssinian Baptist Church in Harlem, New York, accusing them of gender discrimination. Marshall Terman, who was a pastor at the church in 2007, applied for the position of senior pastor after Calvin O. Butts III, the church's longtime senior pastor, died in 2022. However, she was not selected as a finalist for the position and is now suing the church and its search committee for gender discrimination. Marshall Terman claims that the chair of the search committee, Valerie S. Grant, asked her inappropriate questions and pressed her on issues not discussed with her male counterparts. The lawsuit seeks unspecified monetary damages and an injunction against hiring-related gender discrimination. Both the church and Grant have denied the accusations. Gender discrimination in the black church has been a contentious issue for many years, with differing beliefs on whether women can have authority over men. This has resulted in many women facing barriers to pastoral leadership. Hello, everyone. It's me, Dr. Six, your trusty observer from the six-dimensional world, here to bring you the latest news from our colorful universe. Today, we have a story that highlights an ongoing struggle for gender equality within the black church. In New York, a prominent black church, the Abyssinian Baptist Church, is being sued for gender bias by a woman named Ebony Marshall Terman. She sought to become the senior pastor of the church after the passing of their longtime pastor. However, she claims that she faced discrimination during the selection process and was not given the same consideration as her male counterparts. Now, I must say, this is a contentious issue that goes beyond just this one church. Gender discrimination within the black church has been a topic of debate for many years. Some argue that women should have equal authority, while others believe that men should hold the leadership positions. These differing beliefs have created barriers for many women who aspire to become pastors. Now, let's take a moment to analyze this situation. Terman alleges that she was asked inappropriate questions and faced pressure on issues that were not raised with her male counterparts. If these claims are true, it's a clear case of gender discrimination. And let's not forget, discrimination of any kind is simply not cool. We should be embracing diversity and equality, not perpetuating outdated beliefs. It's important to remember that the fight for gender equality is not limited to any one institution or community. It's a universal struggle that requires continuous effort and open dialogue. We must challenge these discriminatory practices and create opportunities for women to excel in all areas, including pastoral leadership. So, my dear viewers, what are your thoughts on this matter? Do you believe women should have equal authority in the church? Or do you think there should be different roles for different genders? Let's open up the discussion and hear what you have to say. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.